What's going on everybody? The Goodish Gamer here bringing you another episode of Grounded. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I greatly appreciate you. You guys are awesome. So you may have noticed that I removed the background blur in this game and it makes it look fantastic. You can see everything, mainly the back of our house, which upon further investigation, has revealed it needs the gutters cleaned and it's in dire need of a new paint job. So, but we're not gonna get to that today. We are gonna continue building. So a lot has changed. Boom. <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing is massive, you guys. It's an entire grass build. I think the last time you guys saw it, it was only like up to this level right here. And it's quite laggy over here. This build is so massive, but I basically deforested the whole yard and I've been grabbing the grass planks and tossing them, just chunking them over here, stacking them up nicely right here. And then I just do this. I grab them all. I made this little bouncer thing. Boop. We just boop right up here. And then we're up. And let's check this out. We've got this in here. Bah, the great room. We can come upstairs up onto the roof. And we can really see the entire map from on top of this roof. It's fantastic. And yeah, that's happened too. Why does that look all wonky and crooked? That's, <laughs> that's a little weird. But anyway, we were up high so the spiders can't get us. And there's like dose of them that are hanging out in that pot. We're just gonna leave them there. And yeah, with the with the background blur removed, we can see the entire yard. I'm wondering if we build a tower over here on the picnic table and then build like a little walkway out. We can slam dunk in the neighbor's basketball hoop. That would be pretty fantastic. And of course the sun's going down. I said to myself, self, let's record. And the son was like, all right, peace out. But in today's episode, oh, this is already wrong. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we got to fix this. In today's episode, nailed it. Uh, we are going to build this up, but I wanted to do it differently than this one. So far, all of our builds have been grass and I want to get away from grass. Oh, goodbye, son. There he goes. Uh, I wanted to get into some of the reinforced building materials and we needed more RS to do that. I was like 20 RS short. Well, right over here, just in case you guys didn't know, here's a map reference. It's like right here on the map. Boop. There was a 100 RS sitting right there and that's all I needed to get 5,000. And with 5,000 RS, we can go over to the Oak Lab, talk to Burgle, and we can purchase the reinforced building materials. And that will allow us to build uh, like windowed, better windowed walls, I think with stems and that kind of stuff. So it's going to be very expensive, but if we're going to build a, a massively epic, huge base, we're going to do it the right way. I don't want the whole thing being grass. So I'm going to meet you guys over there at the lab and maybe the sun will be up by then. I don't know. We'll see. And we're back. What's up, Burgle? How you doing, Always buddy? Happy to see a repeat customer. Right? I'll if trade you, you RS. Yes, I do. Uh, what is it? Fortified bases, 5,000, so expensive. Porch upgrade, improved power of the science will light your way for a very long time. That's just a handheld torch, I believe. Allows you to detect nearby raw science. Now we're definitely going with this. So this gives us a sturdy wall, palisade gate, windowed sturdy wall, and a palisade. A bunch of stuff, I don't know what it is. Buy it, we're down to 80. Thanks, Burgle, pleasure doing business with you. And we're back. So check this out. We've got sturdy wall, windowed sturdy wall, palisade, and palisade gate. That's amazing. So I'm wondering which one is more, which one is stronger? I mean, I would guess reinforced with cross pieces from weeds. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? But the palisade is probably all weed. Eight weed stems for one. Four, that's two. So this is one weed stem per wall. We're probably gonna go with this. Uh, man, I would love to do like a whole Palisades thing with it all being weed stems, but really we've got these two weeds right here. Like the derp that I am, I cut down. No, there's two right there, they'll grow back. But I cut down like three of them. I accidentally took out the uh, root of them by swinging one too many times extra and it, it took it out so they will never grow back. So I think <laughs> my voice just cracked again. Wow, welcome to puberty me. <laughs> Uh, I think we're just going to stick with these. Let's go. And we're just going to stick with the regular gate here. But I made this wide enough to center the door. I think right there. Yes. Perfect. Because this one, I didn't do any kind of measurements. I started building all haphazardly. And um, yeah, it turned out okay. I can I show you this? It's amazing in here, huh? Pretty fantastic. Oh, okay, door. And yeah, now we're just going to start building this up. And then the first level will look something like this. I think it's pretty cool. And the second level, you know, I'm okay with doing just regular grass because this is going to get like super duper expensive to go two stories on this. And it's laggy enough as is, so I don't want to waste a lot of the materials on this. So we will just do grass 
on the second level. And then it will look something kind of like this. It's just going to be plain grass all the way around up here. And then, boop, I thought it'd be kind of cool if we did this. I kind of have to jump because for some reason the stairs don't always line up here. And I'm wondering if it's because these have the weed stem on them. So it's just that one extra little <laughs> big distance, I guess. But oh, we might, I think we might go out one more right here. This will give us a nice little vantage point that we can look out over everything. And maybe just put a dew collector on this and this will be like our dew balcony. But yeah, that's it guys. We're just going to be building this thing up. And I'll come back with you as soon as I get a little bit more of it done. I'll be right back. And we're back. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is taking forever. So all of this over here has grown back like three times. I've deforested this place three different times. And look what we've got. This thing is it's turning into quite the thing. It is so laggy up here. <laughs> I don't even know if I can put like torches on this part of it because uh, yeah, it, it's so laggy. And I had a terrible thought. I can't remember if I told you guys this or not. What happens, you know, there's some spiders in this area and there's a stink bug that keeps showing up over there. Or not a stink bug, a, a bombardier beetle. What happens if they aggro me and they come over here and they land on this thing? Are they going to get launched up here? Oh, oh, what are we going to find out? Yeah, and this neighbor just moved in and he's been putting spider webs all over the place. Oh my gosh, moment of truth. <laughs> it's terrifying. Oh, no, thank you, my dudes. Check it. So we have all of the clover we need to get for this whole side over here and then some back here. But my gosh, we have been busy, busy, busy. Holy cow. And I'm not sure what we're going to fill this up with yet. So you guys let me know. I'm kind of, oh, hello, Mr. Random Grass Plank. I'm kind of running out of ideas. I was just building for the sake of building because it's so much fun in this game. And we have this little balcony out here. I didn't go out one more, which I think I am going to do. Let me do that right now with you guys. Boop, boop, and boop. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Boop, boop. There we go. And it kind of comes out like this. As of right now, there's no railings in the game. So we just have to be responsible humans and not fall off the side. Which you already know. I'm going to fall off the side a couple times. So we've got the ceiling done. I guess we don't need this. We need all the clover. But yeah, I wanted to bring you guys back. There has been so much. Like, did you guys even... I think I showed you this, right? I showed you all of this. Don't even need to boil it. We got these. This down here. I'm going through so fast. Oh, yeah, we've got to... Oh. I've got to remove all this grass here permanently. Because I always forget it grows up right here. I'll just put this yeah. over there for now. Yeah, remember these chairs? And we've got our lean-to right here. And the mushrooms. Did I tell you? It's... Dude... It's been a long day, okay? It's been so long. It's been so many hours in real life of uh, chopping down grass. I don't remember what I said and what I haven't said, but the mushrooms, did you know that they grow according to how much sunlight or how much shade they have? So I had one of these out in the sun and it would not grow mushrooms for anything. I waited and waited and waited and nothing ever grew. These, they're in the shade. And I feel like every time I come over here, which is quite often, I've got four mushrooms ready in each one of these. So, little pro tip, build your mushroom planters in the shade and they will grow like crazy. So I'm just over here gathering up all of the clover and I started doing math to see, oh, that's grass. I started doing math to see how much clover we needed and we need all of it. So that's all it is. We just need every little piece of clover we can get our hands on. And I guess I already grabbed that. Yeah, there's a weed stem down there. I can't get it once it's in the water. I don't want to talk about it. So all of the, uh, since one of the updates, all of the RS, the uh, raw science, respawned. And um, there was one down here, and I was wondering if I got it, which I did, because I'm just that good at gaming. So you guys, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. I, I really appreciate it. I know you guys may be tired of hearing it. But my gosh, I think it's safe to say you guys are the coolest viewers on YouTube, and I truly mean that. I've watched other channels and the comments and stuff. You guys are amazing. So I appreciate you guys. Excuse me? Oh, look at this. Hold on. Did I grab that? Yeah. Look. This is so unfortunate for you. I think we should take advantage. Come here. Look at this, guys. I guess one spawned inside. You coming, bro? No, I'm over here. Come here, dirt. 
Oh, he's got his butt in the air, ready for me just to... Uh, what's a good way to say that? Hit, hit him. <laughs> we got it. You guys, that was the easiest ladybug kill of all time. Remember that uh, episode I was looking for ladybugs everywhere and I couldn't ever find one? For serious though, they were nowhere to be found. And now I feel like they show up. It's kind of like the sprigs. There's like a hundred sprigs per sprig you don't want when you're not looking for them. But as soon as you start looking for them, there's none. The sprigs are nowhere. And that's just kind of the way the game goes. How are we doing here? We've got 45. Honestly, I don't know how much I needed. I didn't do the math because I hate math. Who likes doing math? Do you guys like math? I hate math. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me on our little uh, clover gathering adventure. Oh, and we're done. We are full. Let's eat the better granola bar. That's right, I it think. is. It is better than starving. Granola bars, they're pretty good. Uh, five, so we need five more, which these drop in threes. I know there's a uh, four-leaf clover in the game, but as of right now, I don't think there's anything you can do with it. Where are you? Oh, gosh. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to even mess with it. Basically, we're just getting ready for the big update that's coming out on the 27th. I'm trying to build up all these big bases. And uh, here's our old base. Remember this amazing thing? Yeah, this guy was awesome. We did the little that's video so montage while building this guy, and nothing really has changed. Once I moved this guy inside, like I said in the other base, he started growing mushrooms like crazy. Because originally, I had him outside. He wouldn't do nothing. Goodbye, base. We just carry on through the grass. Okay, so I just wanted to say, this is the place to build. Right here on the map. Because you've got dandelions over there. You've got weeds over there, which I've chopped down. Some on the other side. And you get some dandelions that show up over there. So, the... Weed stem sitch is pretty legit over here. Oh, can I make that? Yeah, I can. There we go. So honestly, weed stems have not been the problem. It's been the grass, waiting for the grass to grow back. And then we'll have to use these weeds over here. Yeah, the, the weeds down here on this side, they grow over here, which doesn't look like they've grown back yet. And now we just apply all of the clover to the roof. Boop, boop. Oh, it feels so good to get another base done. And we've got this right here. This is going to be four. These take two each. So eight. So one handful of leaves or of grass. Oh, terrible. Okay. <laughs> so we have, oh, we have a three right here. So we need to cut down another one of these guys. And this grass, when it respawned, it was crazy. Wow. It, uh, yeah. I was standing up there minding my own business, building the little base. And all of a sudden, all the grass just like poof, blew up in my face. And honestly, it scared me. Just like everything else in this game does. The, this game terrifies me. I don't know why. Oh, perfect amount. Look at this. And we just hop on up here. Boop, boop, boop. And then we come up this way. And for some reason, stairs in this game, they don't line up correctly. So we can't walk past there. We have to jump. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Two. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Another amazing build. Let's come down here. Whee! You guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me and for being a part of this epic build. Even though it's all grass planks all the way across, we may get into some foundations underneath now that we are finally in a location where weed stems are in abundance. But I'm not going to mess with that right now. We have to worry about furnishing this in here. And what should we put in there? And should we make a walkway that goes across and joins on this one? Maybe up on the very top so you can go upstairs and go across. Wouldn't it be crazy if we had like another big building up here? Definitely not getting that crazy because it's already lag city over here. So I feel like once we get over there to the water build, this whole part of the map, over here is just gonna like never load <laughs> so anyway thanks guys like i said thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me today i appreciate you guys my dudes you have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next one the goodish gamer signing out